What's up guys, it's uh, WWE Boy 2100 here, back with another video, and if you guys haven't heard, um, Elite 16 has came out in Kmart, uh, a lot of people are talking about it, um, Elite 16 came out in Kmart, they, um, uh, there's some good news and some bad news about it, Kevin Nash is now being sold in stores, but, Elite 16 Slater, and, um, uh, this Elite 16 Diesel that I just got yesterday from uh, from uh, WWE TNA Toy Collector, they both will not be sold in stores anymore. Uh, they won't be shipped to any more stores anymore. So these figures are officially more rare than they already are because you can't buy them in stores anymore unless they're already out. So if you see these guys, you must pick them up because you will not see them in stores again. But what really sucks about it is Elite 16 Punk to uh to replace Slater. They were they put uh another uh they put the same punks like in the shipment. There was one Slater. Uh, they have a certain amount they put in there. They have one Kevin Nash. Well, this is how it went. They had. They put two Rocks, two Ortons, two Jacksons, one Slater, and one Diesel. But now, uh, there is, uh, I mean, and there was, like, two Punks. So now there's, like, four, there's four San, uh, CM Punk and Elite 16. Uh, there's one Kevin Nash. There is, uh, two Ezekiel Jackson. And, uh three Elite 16 Rocks, and uh, Diesel and Kevin Nash will not be shipped to Walmart or anything else like that, so the only way you could buy it is off the internet, or is or if it's already, uh, or if the uh, it's on your shelf at Walmart, because after it's gone uh, off your sh shelf at Walmart, you will not be able to get it in storage anymore, uh, so that sucks, uh, but at least I have it. Um, I've been waiting on Diesel for a while, um, and Slater, I got him when I, when he first came out. I still have the other head scan in case I were to ever sell it. It's up there. Uh, also, I've changed that out, but yeah, um, that's about it. I'm just going to tell you guys, uh, this Diesel is really cool. Um, so, the uh, Undertaker 20-0 figure came out. I don't have a Toys R Us. The nearest Toys R Us near me is about an hour away. So I don't go to Toys R Us that much. Um, and I really don't care uh, about the Undertaker 20 and other thing. Because I know um, Mattel looks for excuses to put easy guys to put in their line. I guarantee you for you guys that don't have a Toys R Us like me you will see the bald headed Undertaker in a different line of Elites. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm not worrying about it at all. I'm not sweating it. I'm not sweating the WrestleMania 28 at all. I mean, if it, if it's meant for me to get it, I'll wind up getting it in trade. If I really want it, I'll uh I'll buy it with the money I have in my PayPal uh the money I have with the PayPal account. But yeah. Uh so thank you guys for watching. Basically, I'm just not going to sweat the Undertaker. I'm not going to pitch a fit over it. I'm not going to try to give five elites for it, whatever, because I know when Daniel Bryan, Bret Hart, uh, Best Pay-Per-View came out last year, everybody was spazzing for it, everybody was giving out these, paying these great amount of money for it, and now you can't go to Toys R Us without seeing 50,000 50, of them there, so I really don't care, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, WWE Weekly 5000, all I want you to reply to is why did you not send the package like you said you did? Honestly, I don't care. I just really want to know why you didn't do it. Um, basically, because I think it was a childish move that you said you sent and you didn't. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace.